What shall we do with a poor old clown? What there are two types of people in this world. What shall we do with a poor old clown? There is you. Drinking under a bridge. And there is us. What shall we do with well, well, a poor old clown? What have we what got here? Public nuisance. And what do we do with a public nuisance? We better do our civil duty. <laughs> Why don't you leave an old man alone? <laughs> man! He thinks he's a man! Help me! We show you all leave me alone! No. Who are we? We are nobody. And it's the third assault this week. Tolerance towards clowns has plummeted to an all-time low in the last month, following the Premier's announcement of his new Bill of Rights in Parliament. Just weeks ago, the riots of Flinders Street sparked many other riots around the state. We're going to cross live to Ben Potter at Sunshine. They should kill a lot of them. What's that, Tony? Those damn clowns. They're always drunk. It's getting worse. There's too many in the city anyway. They're not so bad, Tony. We just have to give them a helping hand. Lucy, that's all the government's been doing for the last 50 years, is helping out these cake faces. It's about time they start helping themselves. Anyway, why should we have to pay for the government's new bill? We all know it's not going to do anything. Well, there is a nice old clown who comes into my work every day. He always asks for the same thing and he always sits at the same table. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They're weird. And they stink. What are clowns? Have you never seen a clown before, Jack? Yeah, I think there's one in Mrs. Bailey's class. But she never talks to anybody. She just sits on. But what are they? Well, they used to work in the factories. But when they upgraded to the new technology, the clans couldn't keep up. So they were released. Now they're just worthless drunks. But what are they? Where's that stuff on their face? They're just different, Jack. They're not bad. They're just different. They are bad! No other city has this problem! Just our hippie state! But where did they come from? I think that's enough about clowns for tonight. Just eat your dinner, Jack.
Jack, did you want to talk to me? Um, a clown's bad. Clowns? Yeah, I saw one. Did you? What did he look like? Oh, he was dirty and old. Oh, did he hurt you? No, but... But what? Well, I slipped and he tried to help me up. And who told you they were bad? My dad. Sometimes people have views that are based upon what other people have told them. I don't understand. Sometimes we think people are bad or weird at first, but once we get to know them, we find out they're not bad or weird. They're just different. Well, he looked bad. Did he say anything to you? No. So why do you think he's bad? I don't know. Well, maybe you should get to know someone before you judge them, eh? Well, you better get going, Jack. Your parents are waiting. And don't forget your homework. Where have you been? Drinking. Where have you been? What's that on your shirt? Where? There. Oh my god, is that blood? Is that your blood? It's not my blood. Well then, whose is it? Where were you tonight? Out with Vern and Johnny. Where did you guys go? Nowhere. You went hunting again, didn't you? No, I didn't. I swear. Don't lie to me. Look, I didn't kill anyone. But you don't deny you went hunting. You promised, Tony. You promised you wouldn't hunt again. It's disgusting. I didn't do anything, I swear. What happened tonight? Tell me. We ran into a cakey. Before we could do anything, the police came. Jesus, Tony! It's not right! How could you explain this to Jack? He's already asking questions. Please, Tony, enough. You promised. Okay, Lucy. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm done. I promise. I wouldn't move any closer if I were you. You're not supposed to be here, boy. My name's Jack. Jack. Congratulations. Now get the hell out of here! I just, just wanted to ask you something. More like what? Are you bad? <laughs> I'm the worst there ever was. You don't seem bad. No. Maybe not, but you really shouldn't be here. Who is this mongrel, Dom? 
Your name is Dom? Dom and I. And this is Twisty. Why do you have such weird names? Who is this kid? Get him out of here before someone sees! This is Jack. And he's alright, Twist. I don't care who he is. Just get him out of here! I think he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've never been on this side of the tracks before. We don't smile much around here. Why not? There's nothing to smile about. Because nobody fixes it. How come? Because no one cares. But why not? It's just the way it is. It's been like this for years. It's getting worse. But I don't understand. Why do you have to live like this? Why don't you, you get jobs? Because nobody wants us. Because of your faces. A little bit. Nobody seems to see past our faces. Most of us just want a chance. A chance to show that we're not who they say we are. We're more. Well, why don't you show them? No, no we can't. My mum says that we choose what we want to believe. I bet your mum's never been down here before. Probably not. She likes to clean things. She always gets angry if my room is dirty. She would hate this place. <laughs> I don't blame her. I hate this place. There must be something you can do. Jack, you're a brave kid. But there are just some things you can't change. Some truths that people don't want to hear. But you should make them hear. never help you? No. Never. Well, 
I mean, you should fight back. We can't. Oh, you know, you should show them that you're not scared of them. Hmm. I wish we could do something. Fight back. Thing is, nobody cares about us. That was tasty. Thanks. You should come to dinner. My mum's a very good cook. No, not allowed. How come? Because people don't normally want us in their homes. We're not usually invited. Come on, it'll be fun. No, you don't understand. People don't like us. I like you. Nah, I promise. My mum likes everybody. Come on, it'll be fun. Ah, uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess so. Yes. He's coming, he's coming, yes. Woo! He's coming, he's what? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jack? He's late. You're late, Jack. I know. I'm sorry. But can I bring a friend to dinner? Friend? You don't have any friends. That would be lovely. This is your fault. You know that. How is this my fault? Ah, oh, you put these stupid thoughts into his head. Next thing you know, he's coming home with one of them. Them? They're people too, Tony. Oh, don't give me that crap, Lucy. After what they did to you, you're gonna turn around and let one of them in our house? That has nothing to do with this. That has everything to do with this. If he knew the truth, this would never happen. He's too young. It's not the right time. Well, this can't keep happening. This is wrong. Bringing clowns into my house is wrong. Our house? And why? So what? He has a clown for a friend. Who cares? He should have normal friends. Kids his age. Well, he just doesn't, Tony. And whose fault is that? Are you saying I'm a bad mother? Maybe if you spent some time with Jack, you might come to understand what's going through his mind. Don't you find it yes. disturbing that he's hanging around with adults? That's not what you're concerned about. The man is a clown and that's what you hate. I don't need this shit. I'm going to the pub. Yeah, that's right. Just leave. Hey Jack, what you doing? Drawing. Do I come fishing? No. So, do we even know how to fish? No. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. All my life. But why do you wear that stuff on your face? Can't you take it off? I never tried. 
<laughs> hey, I was only joking. I can't take it off. How come? Jack, I know you didn't know what would happen the other night, but I told you it would. I was born this way. And I'll die this way. Were your parents clowns? What were they like? Yeah. I remember my mum used to sing Elvis to me at night before I'd go to sleep. You should see Graceland, Dom. I hear it's so beautiful in the spring. One day now. One day, son. Who's Elvis? She used to dream about going to Graceland. I made a promise that we'd go together one day. Who is she now? I am Liberty Roberts, mother of Donna Roberts. Yes. What is this about? Get it there. Domino! Run! Run, Domino! State regulations, it is my duty to inform you that your son Domino Roberts, being born of both clown blood and common blood, now belongs to the state. He will be allocated to an appropriate family and given proper education. You no longer have any legal binding, and from this day forth, you will be known as a childless. Have a good night. If I could go anywhere, that's where I'd go. Graceland. Where is Graceland? Far away. It's too far away. Elvis used to make her happy. And when I'd see her happy, well, that'd make me happy. So this Graceland would be like your happy place? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it would be. What about your dad? Oh, I never knew my father. But I heard he was one of your kind. He was human? Hmm. If you say so. So, you're only half clown? Yeah. But I don't want to be. Nah. What about you? Yeah. Are we supposed to put something in the environment? <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Out. What, with that kid again? What's it to you? Nothing good will come from this, Dom. Can't you see? He will change you. <laughs> Is that such a bad thing? You like living in this dump, huh? Come on. I know you want more. You deserve more. Hanging around that kid won't change anything. What would you know? A lot more than you, it seems. Fuck you! 
What do you think this kid's gonna do? You think he's just gonna get you a job or something? No. Then what is it, Tom? Because you've been acting really strange lately. Eh, yeah, how so? Since when do you whistle? I'm allowed to whistle. You don't whistle, we don't whistle. It's that kid, he's changing you! Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck me. Kinda of good girl to ever say that. Lucy! Jack! Lucy! What the hell, Jack? What do you keep doing these things to me for, hey? To us! <laughs> <laughs> Cake face! Get the fuck out here! What the? Don't you ever go near Jack again, you fucking cake face! Listen, I didn't mean for. Shut the fuck up! Oh, no! Oh, stop! Oh. Get the fuck up! Let go! Stop it! Let him go! over this shit. Every time we get a little ahead, this goddamn world, it always gets ripped away from us again and again. They always push us and squash us to the ground until there's nothing left. This time they've got what they wanted. And now we've got nothing to lose. It's time for us to push back. Why does he hate clowns so much? Jack. I have something to tell you. I should have told you before all of this started. Tiny's not your real father. He's your stepfather. I married him when you were three years old. So, he's not my real dad? When I was younger, there was a boy who lived next door to us. His name was Ringo. He was a clown. My parents hated living next door to clowns, but he was always very nice to me. We went to different high schools, but during the holidays we'd walk together to places we'd never been. Every day was somewhere new. parents have decided to move. Why? Because that's just the way it is. But... But... What about us? I love you. No, you don't. I love you. I do love you. <laughs> I love you. Let's run away. Let's go. We, we may go to another town or something.
Lucy when when I'm with you everything is different like like I'm not not uh, <laughs> not what not a clown like a normal like you you are normal I love you Ringo and not because you like me or us or anybody because you like you I loved him Before I found out that I was having you, my family moved away. He sent letters to me every week, telling me how he was doing and that he hoped I was doing well. After I married Tony, the letters stopped coming. I think he sort of moved on. I never told him that he was your father. So, my real dad is a clown? Yes, Jack. So... I'm half clown? That's why he doesn't like clowns so much. He knows you're half clown, but he can't get over it. I've never told him the real story. He thinks Ringo did something very bad to me and that he was a bad person. And is he? No. So, clowns are not bad? No. Do you not hear me? I said get lost! Leave him alone, Twist. I said leave him. But Dom... Hey. What happened? You gotta leave, Jack. You gotta leave. Never ever come back. But... Dom. But... Dom, I'm one of you. No, you're not. You're not one of us. Now go! Dude, you guys sucks. Hey, stop. She better hurry up. We're gonna be late. Alex, we've got plenty of time. Hey, I think we have a problem. What? Oh, there she is. Oh my god. What What's she doing? <laughs> um, what, what the f- Fuck! Fuck.
outside. Tony! I loved him, Tony. We were in love. It wasn't what you think, it was consensual. He was a good man and I loved him. But I love you now. Jack is my son and he's a half clown. I'm proud of that, I have no regrets. I love you, Tony! Where are you, Jack? Domino! 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 Get off him, cake face! You all right, Tony? Oh, yeah. Can you believe that shit? This is crazy, man. What's up with those clowns in the yard? Nothing. Where did they go? They're going down to the building yard. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Domino! They say it's the simplest moments that are the most memorable. A beautiful sunrise, a quiet creek. For the smallest moment, as I was walking down that street, I was reminded of my mother. I guess I'll never get to visit Graceland. But Graceland is not a place for me anymore. It's a state of mind.